Well, hello, good morning. You are hiking with Jenny on the Appalachian Trail. Day one, Springer Mountain Trailhead. Sweet. Brian's gonna do the first mile with me of the trail. If I can make it, <laughs> old heart. <laughs> and then we'll see. It hasn't begun yet. None of this even counts. Now we're going southbound now. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> We're going to kill somebody. Hey, he's drunk. How would he know where we're going? So we have to actually backtrack on the Appalachian Trail southbound to get to the start of the Appalachian Trail, which is Springer Mountain. So we just parked at the trailhead and we're heading up the mountain. And it's about, I think a mile hike to get to the summit and then after we get to the top, we're going to have to turn right back around and head back toward the parking lot to keep going north. And cut. We're at the summit of Springer Mountain. This is the official start of the Appalachian Trail. And I have 2,200 miles to walk home. I thought it was 2,190. 2,190 something and a bunch of change. <laughs> it's happening! Ah. <laughs> I don't know what to write. See all you losers later. <laughs> Nan -na poo poo. May the devil become confused on the way to your home. I am ready to begin. Are you ready? Well, my prediction is I will start the trail and finish the trail uh, as fast as you do. <laughs> Brian said I have to actually stand on the true summit of Springer Mountain. So here, I am on the tallest point of the tallest rock. Here we go, starting the Appalachian Trail. Man, if the rest of George is like this, I think I got it. Really tempting fate, huh? <laughs> Whoops! I said that as I like slipped in the mud. Here is where, like right here, I need to get all the way up there, and there's home. Brian is going to take the car, and he's going to meet me at the next parking area, and then we're going to hike to Waterfall together. I'm on my own for the next three-ish miles on this beautiful trail. Gosh, this trail is so flat. It's amazing. It's nothing like hiking back at home. And I had to be careful not to overdo it because I'm going to feel like I can do more. Just because you think you can do more doesn't mean that you should because it is going to put a lot of strain 
on the joints. You don't want to end up with any overuse injuries. So I'm going to start off nice and easy. Today is going to be probably a total of maybe 10 miles by the time I'm done. But it's a lot of it's going to be gradual and flat like this and I am carrying less weight than I would um, because I could leave some stuff in the car so I'm just kind of carrying it's probably like half or maybe a little less than half of what my pack is actually going to weigh and that way it puts less strain on my joints right off the bat I feel really good I feel ready to Take this trail. Beautiful day. Thermometer says it's 64 degrees right now and it's sunny. I'm probably going to D-layer into my shorts at some point because woo, it is starting to get warm. If you had a sharp eye earlier, you would have noticed that today's my birthday. If you can guess my age today, please do so in the comments. Brian and I have something special planned tonight. We have rented a cabin. So he's gonna pick me up at High Tower Gap today. And we're get to, gonna get to go to the cabin. And so it'll be really nice and I can't wait to show you. But um, yeah, I just thought what a perfect way to celebrate my birthday than starting the AT and spending quiet night in a cabin in the woods with my boyfriend. So far it's been a great day. So the advice everyone's given me about starting the trail has been to only hike eight miles a day and I am not obeying that. I wanted to but at the time that I started receiving that advice, I had already planned out my itinerary and I had all the set up. So while I can't change my mileage, what I can change is the amount of weight I'm carrying on my back. So what I've chosen to do today is to slack pack. So Brian is gonna pick me up or down the trail and we're going to stay in a cabin and I'm gonna do that the first couple nights so that I can ease myself into the trail. I think it will also help me emotionally in eventually having to say goodbye because having these times where I'm solo hiking and then being able to see him later, it'll kind of be more of a gradual transition away from each other as opposed to him dropping me off at Springer and saying, see ya. I didn't want to start this journey off with tears. I wanted it to be a happy time. And so, so far, I'm really glad that I did that. And I think that starting out, even though I'm going to be hiking closer to 10 miles a day, having the lighter pack will help not put so much strain on my joints right off the bat. I'm feeling pretty good so far. I was a bit worried about my knees starting out because if you're a member, I mentioned on there about kind of tweaking my knee while snowshoeing and I've had a few weeks now to recover, but every now and then I feel it a little bit, but that feels okay. Spirits are high today. That's gotta be the third crossing of Benton Mackay Trail that I've come across so far. I don't know if it just like kinda snakes in and out. 
along the AT or what? There he is. Hi. Hi. You made it. You just get here? Yeah. That's good timing. Awesome. Uh, just part from the pack, got across the bridge and there I was. There yeah, what cool. what timing? So where are these falls? Brian and I are hiking this mile section of the AT to the falls so we can Brian can see some nice sights and we can have a lunch break together then Brian will have to turn around and hike back by himself this is a bit of a climb to get up to the falls Brian is powering through it I'm kind of dragging right now well, I'm fresh. <laughs> yeah, I just Brian, started off. Yeah. Brian is... Brian hasn't been hiking this whole time, so... He's... I wonder how cold that water is. Well, this looks like good a place as any to eat some sandwiches on a rock by a waterfall on the Appalachian Trail in Georgia! Brian and I have parted ways once again and now I have 3.2 miles to get to High Tower Gap and that is where he's going to pick me up again and at that point I will be done for the day just had a really nice lunch at the falls it was a really nice break got fueled up for the next bit of the hike making good time today it's only 2 15 should get done with the next hour and a half or so head to the cabin get some dinner good day Definitely climbing up right now, headed toward Hawk Mountain. Got the shorts on. It's like mid 60s, gorgeous day, a little on the warm side. What do you think? Should I check it out? Maybe I'll see how far away this is. Actually, this isn't too far at all. I always see that sign in people's videos and no one ever goes down here. This is a really beautiful spot. What a lovely cemetery. People have taken great care. Left flowers for all the people. Some of these stones look super old and yet people still put flowers down. And there's a nice little pavilion here too. Could be like a lunch spot. I don't know if that's a bathroom, but I'll check that out. These are all pit toilets in here, but there's toilet paper. So that's really awesome that this exists. This church just lets the public use it. So that's really nice. I think this little side excursion is well worth it. Especially if you needed a spot to sit down and take a break, get in the shade, use the bathroom. And it's just like a flat road to get there.
I just ran into Brian, and he says... Where? He says I'm... Brian I'm, who? I'm not saying your last name. <laughs> Brian me? Brian you. And Brian says I'm too slow because he's been waiting for a long, a long time for me. Sorry, Brian. Coming up on High Tower Gap. I'm gonna head into the car and head to the cabin. Exciting. Man, that was close. I almost skipped a section of AT. It's all these army vehicles. 